as I share the uh, crux of the articles that we're posting to LockerGnome.com in these videos here on YouTube, hopefully you click the link in the description to read along and share the video and the article in conjunction with one another. And you know, just if you didn't realize you could do that, I'm just encouraging you to do this. Uh, ebooks is the topic at hand uh, for the corresponding article. Uh, are ebooks really a ripoff? I've produced ebooks. I've sold ebooks. And, and I tell you what, if you email me, chris at perillo.com, I will send you a link to where you could get my Twitter tips ebook for free. I'll, I'll just, I'll send you that for free. This is something that I wrote up, a, I think it was a couple years ago, to help people uh, with Twitter, you know, as they were getting started with things. And it's still got, uh, you know, some relevantly, relevantly useful information, even if I happen to be making up words like relevantly. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure that's not a word. But are ebooks really a, a ripoff, you know, if you have to pay for things? And, and I think it's, you know, okay to pay for content that you want. I mean, especially if the publisher puts a value on it, you know, whether it's a dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever it happens to be. If you're willing to pay for it, that means the information should be, you know, worth the cost of admission. And it's been the case where you'll buy an ebook and then you try to read it on your ebook reader, only it doesn't work. Is that frustrating? That is probably the number one thing that I think turns people away from ebooks, the confusion. This is one thing that Amazon has done very well. Uh, you get a, an ebook, you know you can read it in the Kindle software. Whether you're using the web reader, you're using a, a Kindle reader hardware, uh, you're using the software on another device like uh, an, an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod Touch on Android, it doesn't matter. Uh, in many ways, I think ebooks need to come through Amazon as a clearinghouse because you know the software is going to be compatible versus buying an ebook, having it slapped with DRM that only allow you to read the ebook on one computer or another. I mean, you want to talk about outmoded. That's frustrating. Uh, you know, it, it's not a question of, it, you know, paying for something. It's do, are you going to get what you pay for? If I pay five dollars, let's say, for an ebook, I expect that I'm going to be able to read that ebook wherever I go. Uh, I don't want to have any restrictions levied against me, and I, I don't want to really get frustrated with the process of reading. All I want to do is read what's in that ebook. But so many people are buying and selling ebooks that are locked down with proprietary. DRM mechanisms that are draconian. I mean, this stuff is so bad for the ebook publishing industry. And it's not to say that the DRM that Amazon places on top of certain ebooks is any better. Uh, it's just knowing that if you buy a, a Kindle, you can read any content available for the Kindle on any device that supports the Kindle store. You can forward a PDF to uh, your Kindle email address, which you get for free when you get a Kindle, uh, or you're using some kind of, of software that allows you to uh, read Kindle content. Uh, you know, whether it's costing you money or you get it for free, it's knowing that you're not going to feel like you were swindled, that you were cheated. So before you buy an ebook, find out whether or not it has some layer of DRM associated. And if it does, my recommendation, don't buy it. Uh, my ebooks have never had DRM associated. They're just straight up PDFs. I know they've been swapped online and, 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 and I don't think resold, uh, but certainly shared. And I'd rather have people stealing my content, uh, not that I would condone it, uh, than not wanting it at all. Uh, <laughs> That's my perspective on it, uh, and I don't know, you know, what you, your experience has been with eBooks, or if you think that eBooks are a ripoff. Not because they cost money. That's that's not what's in question here. It's more like, do you get everything that you paid for? And I think DRM uh, really does the reader a disservice and the publisher a massive, massive disservice. Um, so, let me know your thoughts. You have ours.